Hi, question number 10. Showing all necessary working, solve the equation iz squared plus 2z minus 3i is equal to 0, giving your answers in the form ax, I mean in the form x plus iy, where x and y are real and exact. Okay, so let's do the first part. Now this is the equation, we need to solve it. Okay, so we're going to be using the quadratic formula, minus b, and b is 2, so I've got minus 2 plus or minus root of b square, so minus 2 to the square, I mean 2 to the square, minus 4 times a, and a is i, times c, and c is minus 3i. This is c. Divided by 2a, 2 times i. So I've got then z is equal to minus 2, plus or minus the root of 4, okay, minus minus becomes plus, 3 times 4, 3 times 4 is 12, i times i is i square, so I've got then minus, um, minus times minus is plus, and I've got 12, alright, and I've got i square, and i square is minus 1, divided by 2i. z is equal to minus 2 plus or minus the root of 4 plus minus is minus 12 is minus 8, divided by 2i, and this is going to be minus 2 plus or minus the root of 4 times minus 2, which is minus 8, divided by 2i. And what is the root of minus 2? Root of 4 is 2, minus 2 is going to be the root of 2i, divided by 2i. 2, 2, 2 can go out. I'm going to be left with minus 1, plus or minus the root of 2i, all divided by i, times the conjugate, which is minus i, minus i. Conjugate of i is going to be minus i. Minus i times 1, minus i times minus 1 is i, and I've got plus or minus the root of 2. Okay, i square is minus 1, because i times i is the square, so it's going to be minus 1, divided by minus times plus is minus, i square again is minus 1. So then, and this is going to be plus, okay, minus plus minus, so i plus or minus the root of 2. Okay, so then I got root of 2 plus i, so this is the solution, and I got minus root of 2 plus i. So here we are for the first part of the question. Now, moving on to the second part, sketch on a sketch in an org of an organ diagram, show the locus of the point of the locus representing the complex numbers satisfying the equation mod of z is equal to mod of z minus 4 minus 3i. Okay, so we're going to have to sketch this on an organ diagram. So let's move here. The complex numbers is represented by mod of z is equal to mod of z minus 4 minus 3i. This can be rewritten as the mod of z minus 4 in brackets minus plus 3i in brackets. Here we are. Now this is a coordinate. We have to represent this on organ diagram. Pardon me for my drawings here. So this is the real axis, the imaginary axis. So 4, 3. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. So the point is somewhere here. That's the locus of Z. Coming from the center to this point. The locus of Z for this line will be the bisector of the line. This Z on one side is Z plus 0, or Z minus 0. So 0 here. Now, if we bisect the line, we've got a perpendicular bisector. So this is the locus of Z. That's the, uh, that's the answer to the question. But you can still find the equation of this line if you wish. Now we know that this is 4, 3. So we can find the gradient of this line. Okay, gradient of original line is equal to 3 over 4. Therefore, the gradient of the perpendicular bisector, which is basically um, the locus of the point Z, of the complex number Z, is going to be minus 4 over 3. So, if we find the equation of this line, um, we have got a point here, the midpoint, 
Okay, the midpoint is going to be then 4 plus 0 divided by 2 is 2, 3 plus 0 divided by 2 is 2. I mean, sorry, 3 plus 0 divided by 2 is 1 and a half, so 3 over 2. Therefore, we can say that y minus 3 over 2 is equal to x minus 2 with the gradient here. So 3y minus 9 is equal to minus 8 times x minus 2. So 3y minus 9 is equal to minus 8x plus 16. I can send this on the other side. Okay, 3 goes here, 3, 9. Okay, so I've got then um, 8x. Is that right? Okay, so 3 times um, 3 times 3 is 9. Y, okay, minus 3 over 2. Alright. Oh, yeah, the 2 here multiplies, okay? So I got then this one times 2. Alright, and 2 goes here times 2. 6y minus 9 is equal to minus 8x plus 16. So this can come on this side. I've got 8x plus 6y is equal to 16 plus 9 is 25. So here's the locus of the point Z. Now, for the second part of B, we need to find the complex number represented by the point on the locus where Z is least and find um, the modulus and argument of this complex number giving the argument correct to two decimal places. Now where is that where the z can be the least? If we look at the organ diagram, this is where um, z is, the locus of z on this line. This was a different matter, but this is now here. Z can be here, can be here, can be here, can be here, anywhere on this line. However, when it comes here, it makes 90 degrees, isn't it? So that's where the Z is going to be the least. All right, so for that one, if it is the least then, and we need to find its modulus and argument. So here, from here to here, I got then at this point 2 and 3 and a half. So this is 3 over 2i. So I got 3 over 2, okay? And then I got um, from here to here, this is 2. Therefore, I can say the mod of z is going to be the square root of 3 over 2, which is 1.5 to the square plus 2 to the square. So, 1.5 square plus 2 square, 6.25. The square root of that is 2.5. So we got the square root of 6.25 and therefore 2.5 is the mod of z, okay, where the z is the least. And also the argument for this, now the argument will be this, all right, basically we're saying, I've drawn the opposite, so the argument is here, here's the argument. All right, now the argument is going to be the inverse tan of 3.2 over 2, which is 1.5 over 2, which is 0 0.75. Okay, 1.5 divided by 2 is 0 0.75, so just do it on calculator now. Inverse tan of 0 0.75, 0 0.6435. So I've got 0 0.6435. We're told to give the answer correct to two decimal places. Yeah, two decimal places. So the answer then should be 0 0.64 to 2 dp. Here we are. Question number 10, taken from June 2016, Advanced Level Maths, HSC, Paper 3.